Okay, welcome back. Uh, and in this video, um, we're going to calibrate the DXE radio uh, in the simulator. And um, so you can hear in the background, I'm getting the switches set. So I'm in intermediate mode. I'm in high rates. The throttle is um, set at 50%. And everything else is normal, but you want to be in high rates and you want to be in intermediate mode and the throttle set to 50%. So I think we're set to go. Um, so in doing this, I'm going to do it slightly differently. Okay. So I'm going to say your transmitter. Whoop, I'm sorry, wrong one. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say your, where to go here? Uh, your controls, okay. Okay, and here the default is set up at uh, the DX5, but I'm going to copy this to a new name. And I'm going to copy this to the Spectrum, I'll just call Time it DX. DX6. Okay. I'm going to accept that. And so now I have a custom one called DX6, which I will now edit. Okay. So now you can see that if I move the throttle up and down, I only get collective pitch. That's not good enough. So the engine needs to be on channel 1. Okay. And if I move the um, uh, beginner, Intermediate, Advanced Switch, which is uh, channel uh, 5. Beginner mode, Intermediate mode, Experienced mode, okay. Beginner mode, Intermediate mode. So the autopilot function mode. is working. Intermediate mode. Okay, and the panic button. Panic. Pan panic button is working. So autopilot and panic, The these are all set. Okay, I'm going to put that back to neutral. And we're going to finish this. And now you can go into it. This is the simple mode. You can go into detail and do all kinds of things if you want. But uh, I'm going to choose not to at this point. So that's now finished. Uh, I'm sorry. It has to be at least five characters. Okay. We're going to call this my DX6. Okay. And it's all set. Okay. So that's now. So that's what I'm on. And now I'm going to go into your transmitter and do the calibrate. And before I start the calibration, I'm going to make again make sure that the. Um, uh, Time remaining nine minutes. I got nine minutes to fix this, I guess. Um, uh, I want to make sure the throttle is at 50% that the, um, Beginner mode, intermediate I'm in mode. intermediate mode, okay, and I want to make sure that the, um, elevator trim is all the way up and the throttle trim is all the way down, and they are, so now I'm going to calibrate, okay, yes, I want to do that, and Yes, every, the switches and everything are in the right position. High rates is selected. Okay. The sticks are centered, so I'm going to say OK to that. Now for the switch, I'm uh, sorry, for moving everything up and down, left and right. Okay. And reset the throttle back to 50%. And say that's good. And now for the switches, I'm going to move the beginner intermediate advanced mode, channel 5, up mode, and back. Okay. All right, enough. Thank you. Panic, normal mode. Panic, normal mode. Okay. So now that that's set, <coughs> I can go next. And uh, we're finished. So the calibration is now complete. 
and we're finished with the calibration. So now the DX6 is calibrated the same way I ca calibrated the DXE with the trim all the way to one end. And I'm going to put the trim all the way back down to the other end. I'm going to pull the throttle idle, hit the pause button off, and we'll do a quick takeoff and check everything. And I am in experience mode. You can tell that because I can go past six degrees of bank there. I'm going to set the throttle to uh, 50 percent and see how the trim is. See what I'll do a turn back around toward me. I'll let go of the stick. Okay. And I'm 30 feet in the air, and I'm not climbing or descending very much. Maybe I can add just a tad of power, 51%. And um, that looks pretty level. Okay, just like in the DXE. Now, don't be fooled by the fact that that looks like it's pulled back over here, because it's not. Okay, uh, that stick is back because the trim is set that way. And I still have a lot of pull up on that, okay. And uh, just one other thing to which I'll show you later. Uh, when we're flying along here at 22 or 23 miles an hour, um, we're above the stall speed, but I won't say a lot above the stall speed. But this is where I ex where I want to begin the tr training. Uh, so that you get used to a slow flying airplane and then we're going to speed it up later. So this is just above a stall speed but level flight and it will stay there all day long and you have to be gentle on the controls when you're at this stall, I won't say just above a stall, but we're usually above a stall speed because the stall speed is probably around uh, 15 miles an hour, 10 to 15 miles an hour. We'll find that out in a future video. Okay, so here we come in for See if I can land quickly here before I hit the end of the runway. Nope. That's what you call an abort. We'll turn it around and try it again. By the way, I do treat the simulator like a real airplane. I don't intentionally crash it. Uh, and if I'm about to crash, or like I did there, I'm not going to crash it. I'm going to save it and go around, just like I would in a real airplane. Okay, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.